back to my Chanel and today's video is for all you spicy little uh, video creator beans that want a cool intro for your video or your content. Whatever you do, I shall provide. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial and I will walk you through how to create the coolest, catchiest outro for your little content. So without further babbling, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first part of this tutorial, the step number one, is to click the link in my description or in the pinned comment of this video, and it should take you to a Google Drive folder called Custom Outro Template, and you wanna select the Outro Template PNG. Then when you're on here, I know it looks really bland, but I swear once we spice it up, it'll look scrum delicious. So if you are on PC, or on a laptop, you want to right click your mouse and there should be um, a thing that says like save and you do that, but if you are on a mobile device, just long press your screen, save to camera roll, okay, and it should save. And you wanna allow everything. Okay, so once you have got that little template snatched in your camera roll, gallery, files, folder, whatever, it's time to move on to step number two. Step number two involves our trusty friend Ibis Paint X, which is basically a drawing app for mobile. So if you're on PC, my dude, I don't know how you want to deal with this. Basically, we're going to be spicing up the intro in this. It is absolutely free, so you don't need to pay for it. Let's open the app. Also, I want to mention I'm not going to be doing like a tutorial on how to use Ibis, so if you're like totally confused, during this whole thing, I suggest you check out a tutorial by some other YouTuber because I do not have one. So the first thing you want to do is go to my gallery, click the plus icon, then go and you see new ca canvas. I cannot take today. I feel like I just swallowed a baked potato and now it's stuck in my mouth. Anyways, you want to go to import picture right on the top and import your newest photo which should be the beautiful lay template. When it says extract line drawing, you want to select cancel. And now it may look really confusing because it's all white. You want to go to this little layer icon and probably just like select one of these grain thingies. So let me just give you a little rundown on what this template is. In the middle, you will have the subscribe icon for your channel, and on either side, you will have either a video or a playlist you want to show your viewers. So yeah, that's what those are. So first, let's start off by adding some text. Also, I do want to mention, if you do not like the white of this template, you can go on any color, click the bucket tool, and fill it in, but I'm just going to leave it white for the sake of being aesthetic. Then you want to go to the text icon, and you let's just start with writing subscribe i'm just going to go here add text boom boom and write subscribe then i'm going to go to font and change it to whatever font i want there are so many you can download by just pressing the plus icon but this is not a tutorial as i said for ibis so you can figure that out on your own and i'm gonna just choose the font called cherry okay so once you have written your lovely text you can adjust how big you want it um and the stroke which is an outline so i'm just going to outline a little and change the width and i think i'm going to go for kind of like maybe more kind of spicy theme do we want i think i'm going to go for a black and white classy theme on this outro and you can do whatever color you want next i'm going to write check out this playlist or you can do something like just make sure you write something for the video and playlist so i will see you guys when i'm done writing the little description for both of my boxes okay all done obviously you can change this to whatever you want just make sure it's about the playlist and video so when you are doing this, you kind of know where to put each item, I guess. Okay, so I'd say this is the bare minimum of text you should do. However, you can always add some more spice. 
So I'm just gonna add a little thanks for watching because I love doing that in my intros. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I think that is nice. And in the corner, I'm gonna write my Instagram handle or you can do your Discord server name, your other usernames, just basically any social medias you might want to promote in this outro. Just a little pro tip, I would recommend putting whatever socials in like a corner so it's not too distracting for the viewer if they might want to click on a video playlist or subscribe button. So yeah, so now you can just add any decorations, PNGs, clip arts, anything you want. But if you are satisfied with your intro, basically the little template layout thing, you are going to go to this arrow and select save as transparent PNG. Make sure the PNG is transparent. That is so, so, so important. Okay, so the next step of this tutorial is to install the video editor called Vita, and this will help us make our intro a video. You can of course do this on other video editing softwares, I just think this one is the ideal one. So you want to install it, it's completely free, so let's open her up. So you will be graded with this mess. I don't know what half of these things are for, but you want to click new project, and you want to go to stock video and you will see a lot of aesthetic background footage that is completely free and ready for you to use. So yeah, if I were you, just all pro tip, I wouldn't use something too flashy or colorful because it might distract the viewer for, from what you're trying to promote. So like not like really flashy, but you can choose whatever you want and whatever suits you, your aesthetic and the vibe you are going for my dude. Okay, I think I found one that I like, so I'm just gonna press on it. Wait, no, that's not what I want. This one, press on it, and then click the arrow. Depending on your outro, I would say keep it around five to eight seconds long, otherwise YouTube will be a turd and just mess with you, so I'd say that's a good amount. Um, when you press on it, you see how long this is, so it's not long enough for me. I'm just gonna press the clip, copy, so that's about 8 seconds. Shut up. Um, nobody asked for your tutorial, babe. Stop it. Okay, so cool, cool, big sleigh, cute, whatever. Now you want to go to where it says PIP, select it, go to image, select your outro template, and go like that. Okay, you want to spread it throughout your whole video, and just like that. Now I think my background footage doesn't really blend in that well with, with my lovely little um, template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an effect to hopefully spice things up. Okie dokie, I think I found a nice lovely filter effect, whatever you want to call it, for my outro. If you want to use the same one, it's called VHS1 and it is found in the retro section. Um, a little tip, I would avoid using bling at all costs because it will make your text unreadable. I'm going to take my effect, spread it through my whole video, and let's just see how that looks. All funky and vintage. Ooh. Um, also, using a glitch thing is kind of like your choice. You may not be able to read um, the words as well, but I think it's fine. So now we're basically done, except we need some good background music. I cannot ever find decent background music my dudes it is a struggle i recommend looking on youtube but now you can also use like the one from the app go to music and i think i'm just gonna select something random and i will be back okay my dudes i found a song that i think can go decent with this called my new era short love the names so once you found your song if you're gonna use it from the app you're going to press the plus button and there we go. I'm gonna move it, make sure everything is good. I'd recommend going to edit and put, oh my god, stop it. Why is it, okay, anyways, fade in, fade out, nice. Okay, obviously the fade in, fade out, it's an option. I think it works, especially if you have a different music in your video. Anyways, let's take a look.
Okay, I think I'm pretty satisfied with my outro. It looks pretty darn slay if you ask me. Now all that's left is to export to export our video. We want to click the purple export button on the right hand corner and export that little rat up. Okay, now it's gonna bully you and make you use our cringe hashtag so you don't need to do that. And just select done. Hi guys, I forgot to do an outro, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and have a good intro. If you have any video suggestions, please comment them below. Join my Discord, join my Roblox group, follow me on everything. All links are below. Again, thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye!